What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy, DJ Troy. I hope everybody is good. Okay, so the first topic we're going to talk about is the U.S. Open. Shout out to Miss Flavia Panetta. Okay, she won her first U.S. Open this weekend, and she's only 33 years of age. The problem with how she did it was that she ended her career as a boss. Okay. After she won the first championship, she announced that she's going to retire with a $3.3 million check. Okay, so shout out to Miss Flavia Panetta for winning the U.S. Open it and doing it like a straight up G. You know what I mean? Shout out to Roberta Vinci. You know what I'm saying? She was the second place runner up. She did her thing, but Flavia... She wanted to end her career as a boss. And like I said before, she got a $3.3 million payday. So enough respect to Miss Flavia Panetta. And she did such a wonderful job and winning so gracefully. So now let's leave such a beautiful story to the bazaar. This individual that you're looking at is Miss Camilla Brock. She's 32 years of age. Now, she just experienced one of the worst nightmares that anybody could possibly imagine. Okay? Apparently, Camilla was pulled over by the NYPD and taken to the police station. Because the police believed that there was issues with her and how she drive. The problem was that they took away our BMW and she was supposed to come back the next day to pick it up. When she went back to the station, <laughs> Camilla was taken by the ambulance to Arlem Hospital where she was admitted into the psych ward for eight days. The bizarreness of this story is so real that it's not even funny. As a result of her being in the psych wards for eight days, she was slapped with a medical bill, okay, for $13,000. It was one of the most bizarre stories that you could even imagine. Okay, now Camilla is suing the NYPD for, for this craziness that occurred in her life. This is just a bizarre story that I have no explanation for. But I do wish Camilla Brock the very best. As I moved on to the most bizarre stories that have been trended... What you're looking at right now is a picture of a woman who stormed a Muslim conference in France. Breasts out, breasts naked. Okay? I don't know what's the reason behind this. But I'm guessing they're trying to prove the point that women are free. Because some people might say that Islam is one of the religions that suppresses women's freedom. I don't know what is their point. But what I do know is that this is just plain old bizarre. Out of all the places you're going to look to strip naked and have your breast shown, you're going to go to a Muslim conference and do it at a Muslim place. This just doesn't make any sense. But I guess in a way it probably do. Because you're able to express your point of view. At probably one of the religions. Which you know protests and slash practices modesty. So you know it is what it is. But this is just plain old bizarre. I'm like, wait, there isn't any place else that these people could possibly go 
to fight for the rights of feminines for for women i don't know it's just bizarre as we move on to the less bizarre i would just like to say a happy birthday to one of the greatest mcs that ever lived one of the best lyricists one of the best rappers one of the greatest of great mr nas happy birthday nas celebrated is is celebrating his birthday today september 14th 2015 so shout out to nas for continuously giving us good music giving us good hits and i wish him the very best wish his family the utmost best long life and continue doing your thing boss Shout out to you, Nas. So, shout outs to the winners of all winners. Okay, the guy that is winning right now more than anybody else is Mr. Travis Scott. Okay, Travis Scott, who's only 23, has bagged slash hooked up with one of the hottest shorties in the game one of the hottest girls you know out there in the game she's just hot rihanna you know what i mean and i know a lot of people has a lot of things to say about rihanna about her sexuality about her promiscuity about her pictures that she takes about her music and uh and it goes on and on and on and on okay but that doesn't really matter because right now, Mr. Travis Scott is winning. Okay. He is sexing one of the hottest chick in the game. And there's been many dudes who got millions of dollars that want Rihanna, that is thirsty over Rihanna, that is looking to bag Rihanna. But she says no. But a 23-year-old who just released his first album or his first work of notoriety is hitting that something. All right? He's taking care of Rihanna right now. So, Travis Scott, continue winning, my man. I wish you continual success. Enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it. Because... From now until eternity, he's just going to be winning in terms of the ladies. Because, you know, the comparisons to any girl that he's going to date after Rihanna is going to be great. Okay? Because that girl, I don't know. I don't know what her self-esteem is going to be like. Okay? She has to have serious self-esteem. Okay? Okay? Because here you are, 23, and you dated Rihanna, okay? The next girl, she just got to have strong self-esteem. Because it's just going to be like, yo, what is the comparison right now? Okay, beauty, brains, money, everything Rihanna has. Damn it, man. Travis Scott is winning. Yeah. <laughs>